hard at work building a plumbing business, Bob and Donna work side by side on everything. His hobby, building cars, sometimes turned into obsessions. And I was digging a 22 foot deep ditch at Mart Marietta Concrete and uh, uh, with a high hole and I come up with a bucket and I had an engine hanging on the end of the bucket, Model T engine. I brought it home and I took it apart right out on the driveway with the air wrench and my goodness, the inside was like new. I cleaned it all up and glass beaded the outside and honed the cylinders and put it together and it ran perfect. But while he celebrated his new find, he forgot about a different kind of celebration. He didn't remember Valentine's Day. I always make a special dinner and I always have a certain red velvet heart-shaped cake. When he walked in, he did a little U-turn and went back out. He said, oh, I forgot something. And then I would forgot it was Valentine's Day one day and I had just bought a whole bunch of fenders and body parts. I, you always got her flowers or something for Valentine's. I thought, I gotta do something. So I uh, had a bow from a car I had bought. I had a bow. So I piled all the parts right in the center in that motor and I put my funny Valentine. So she come out and she looked at it and laughed. He brought home this load of junk and I was supposed to be thrilled. I said, I'm gonna build you a, cause she always wanted a woody truck, you know. So we built her a woody truck. Then she realized his heart was in the right place. I didn't think that would ever turn into anything. And I didn't know that he really knew how much I liked trucks. And inside in the gas tank, it says my funny Valentine and the license plate, uh, you know, holder. It's got my funny Valentine on. That was, that was one of our more fun family vehicles because we took a lot of uh, trips and picnics and parades and fun things with that one. Parades made sense, but one of the picnic places? We took uh, one of the Model T's and took a picnic and had a picnic in a cemetery with our kids. That was a fun one. I mean, who goes to a little country cemetery and has picnics? But that was, that was one of my fun ones, you know, my memories that comes back. There aren't any parks around here unless you go into a town, and we just liked the quiet little country cemetery, and we just were driving by and decided that's a good spot. Onto a not-so-peaceful racetrack. Well, I want to race in that one, yes. I mean, I'm not much of a race fan or certainly not a race car driver or truck driver, whatever. But yes, uh, in one of the old timers races, we, we girls won the race in that one. That, that's fun. That was, that was fun. Did you rub that in his face at all? Oh, I don't do that. Oh, no. No, no I don't do that. <laughs> I save those kind up. Save them up like so many memories. Tender moments too. When a neighbor noticed them sitting in a car, they were ready to sell. We just sat there, just our hearts pounding, dry mouth, you know, like, now what? You know, the first one. Because you were selling your 59 car. 59 years we had that car, yeah. But not this one. Yeah, okay. See if, see if I still know how to drive. <laughs> Been a long time, Bob. Hey. Been a long time. <sighs> Oh. It was a lot easier to get in when back in uh, the 80s. I'll have to go 80s. around and get you started from over there. Okay. Go on again. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Spark up. Uh-oh, we're going to... Go on. Keep going. There you go. There you go. A little more. There you go. Ready? Yeah. All right, there we go. Go. Am I going down the... Oh, shh. There, there we go. go. Isn't it? Woohoo! <laughs> it worked! It worked!
Until next time, when Bob saw an Austin Healy on eBay, he just had to have. And I sent one of my guys, uh, employees, up to get it uh, with the trailer. Yeah, everything from the motor on the windshield wiper to the rear end, every bearing, everything. Everything was apart. Why do people do that? That was a total mess. When he, I, You couldn't even tell what that was. The next adventure in Bob and Donna's garage.